meeting up with my buddy Kit. Uh, we're gonna late start this morning as we had uh, dad duties to take care of. But I'm on my way now and we should have the boat in the water within half an hour. We've got a beautiful day, um, light nor'wester, which is really good for what we want to do today. We've got a game plan, which we discussed last night, and hopefully we can stick to it, which sometimes can be the hardest part in our local waterway because there is quite a lot of bycatch, including School Mulloway, which I'm a little bit partial to. So I'm going to stick to the uh, game plan to try and interest a big dusky flathead. And uh, hopefully I can put one of these videos up once a week. Um, that's the plan. If I don't, uh, it's probably because life goes on and uh, being a dad and working a full-time job, it's a little bit hard, but hopefully it comes together and we can get something up each week. Um, the objective of these videos is to show what I learn through this process and this sort of goal I've set myself over winter. Um, mega duskies don't come easy in any system. Uh, if we do come across one, I really want to stress that these fish are vital to our systems and they're vital to the future of our fishing and recreational fishing in our waterways. I know I want my kids to experience the fishing that I've experienced on Dusky Flathead and looking after these big girls is paramount in my view and although education's got better in the last few years I think there's still room for improvement and we really need to look after these fish because they spawn millions of eggs each season which keeps our systems ticking over so just wanted to get that off my chest to start with um, something I'm very passionate about and hopefully we get the chance to show you guys a mega dusky um, oh, the meter flathead is a unicorn in any system in Australia. I think the meter flathead term is used way too loosely. I've only seen a handful on measuring mats. So I've heard plenty of stories of old dudes saying they've caught them to a meter 10, but I think they're having a lend to me. So there's always an outside chance we do find a unicorn, but I highly doubt it. Fingers crossed though. So we're gonna get out there, we're gonna stick to our game plan and hopefully you enjoy it and hopefully you can take something from it. But thanks to everyone who supported this and thanks to everyone who has gave me the kick in the ass that I needed to get up and do something like this. These vlogs or vlogs are something different for me. So that light nor'wester is not real light anymore, but... But it's good. But it's good. We're gonna plan our drift. Slow our drift down. Um, hopefully we can uh, find what's working pretty quickly and get amongst them. Uh, yeah, good drift. We like planting drifts here in our local waterway and it's, uh, it's dead set perfect today. So let's get into it. So what we're doing here is we're just using this wind to our advantage and planting drifts over waypoints that have proven to be really good spots in the past. So when you've got a bit of wind like this, use it.
620. 620. Beautiful fish. Took a hard vibe. He came back for that tick one, mate. And then just let me vibe go straight back down. And on the second lift, he yeah was all over yeah, straight away. So it's always the case too with a flathead, you know. Never give up on that retrieve. Very good. Pretty big point. Yeah. But um, 6:20, getting up there. We're upgrading. Upgrading. <laughs> Slowly. find Eleanor today but we did find a few flathead. Um, the best was 62 centimeters and I think we got a 52 or a 53 um, and Kit got that beautiful Jew which was a bloody welcome bycatch. Um, we used the wind to our advantage today it blew up a lot more than we thought it would so we used it to plan drifts. We used a drogue to slow our drift down or a sea anchor and we saw which way we thought we we're gonna drift so we positioned the boat to drift a long drop-offs and certain waypoints we'd marked in previous sessions where we'd caught fish. Um, if we didn't have bait showing on the sounder in that drift, we set up the boat again and drift again. Once we found the bait, we found the fish. It's the old cliche and it's never a true word spoken. Um, so today we use hard vibes, um, hopping them in contact with the bottom, back to the boat with the tide. So we're drifting into the tide, presenting our lure back with the, with the tide naturally as possible. 10 pound leader because the water was super super clear so we went down to 10 pound leader um, if you hook a good flathead on 10 pound leader it's a war of attrition you have to just back your drag off hang in there because they will chew you off so we went down to 10 pound leader we used hard vibes soft vibes and soft plastics we caught a few fish but we didn't find the one we we're looking for the search continues um, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this and hit like and subscribe at the bottom because one of these videos will be going out once a week. So, thanks a lot guys, and yeah, let's keep searching. Cheers guys. Been meaning to ask you, you like guacamole?